Hi, my name is Marvin, and uh, today I'll be working on uh, just using uh, buttons to control uh, communication with the serial monitor. Uh, this time we're using Circuit Python, and uh, I have two buttons on my setup here. On this side, just the two, and codes on this side. Nothing fancy about this except for two buttons that do two different things. And the code has a lot of information that it has to do just by controlling the two buttons. So this is more like trying how how they used microcontrollers and arcades or machines back in the day when you only had access to two buttons and they still were able to do a lot of stuff. So we'll start. Uh, and reset the serial monitor and uh, let me zoom in so you can see the information a little better all right so uh, when you turn it on uh, it tells you uh, welcome to the leaderboard the default is uh, AAA ask you if you will if you'd like to change the initial uh, and, and gives the instructions which will be Press A to change the initials, B to change the the column, and uh, hold B and A to save the initial. So I don't want my initials to be that, so I'll start pressing the button. Go down when I get to the letter I want. I'll press the next button. Shift tells you that it's moved to the second one. Then I'll change that one all the way. The beautiful thing is that if it goes all the way to Z, it resets and goes back to A. And then when I get to the initial I want, change to the third initial using the other button. Do the same thing. And then I can go back to the beginning, change it. And all the way through until you find the initial you want and then after that you press both buttons and then it stores your initial so at that time it will uh, ask you if you want to change uh, the initial so that's pretty much it uh, let me uh, walk you through the code itself it may look like it's a simple task but it takes a lot of coding to just get it through so bear with me uh, the code itself will be in the description if you want to take a look at it so just like last time start by importing uh, stuff that you uh, the uh, functions that you want to use from the libraries we'll use a time board and the digital in and out uh, I got an LED on the other side and another two LEDs and two buttons. And then uh, from there, I'll get you down to the variables. So I used three counters. So I needed to keep the, those values saved. So I used global variables. And then uh, I had a tuple there because I don't want the information to change. Uh, tuples in Python usually use the... Uh, the round brackets and then I had a position so you can tell me the values for the column which is being changed so the first function I used was a counter count up I had three different versions for all the three different initials that you want to change as you can see uh, if it goes all the way to the uh, 26 the last letter of the alphabet it resets back to zero uh, same for the other uh, two uh, count ups that I had and then I had two uh, th uh, three more for the positions and uh, it's pretty much just trying to see what uh, number you have there and then you index that from the tuple that we set which had the 26 letters of the alphabet whatever number you get from the count and you add it to this will transfer it back to uh, the letter value, like the value 1 will be an A, 13 will be the M, 
and and so and so and then the last one was the row this one is the one that uh, uses uh, the position to che check if i'm doing the first uh, column the second one or the third one so you go through that and when it gets to the third position it goes back to zero and then you count up again and then the current one that one uses all three global variables and then it uh you combine all three to get the string that tells you what the current initial is so the default one when you first call the program will be triple a and then the the last uh function will be for the instructions and there it's pretty much just tells you how to use the buttons so uh, before the program begins, it will show you, hi, welcome to the leaderboard, and then it will give you initial, which will be triple A, and ask you if you'd like to change the initials. And from there, it'll, uh, you, uh, you can uh, it'll instruct, uh, give you the instructions. And then uh, we use the while true to initiate the forever loop, just like last time. And then now we go to active equals true I'm using this statement to get to the second while loop so it'll keep on staying in this uh, second loop until when active becomes false it, it jumps off so I had two different buttons one one was a one was B and then I uh, had the two different lights just to show which ones uh, which ones a which ones B if the the button press went through or not just to communicate uh, to be user-friendly so the first one uh if statement checks if the the button has been pressed and the position is zero like the initial position now uh if when you press the button then all it'll do it'll, it'll change the first row uh the second one will check if the button has been pressed and if uh the position is two and that will change the second row and the third one does this the the, the last uh, row and then uh, the other if statement was check if the B button was pressed if the B button was pressed then it uh, saves the value and moves on to the next column and also returns the in uh, the current initials and then the final was just check if both buttons have been pressed and if both press uh, the active goes back to false and gets you off the loop and uh, returns you to the beginning without leaving the forever loop. So if you can say if your initial was right, if not, you can go back into the program and do that uh, until you get the, the, the value you want. As usual, more information will be in the write-up. Thank you.